the use of Botox and uh, neuromodulating agents has kind of revolutionized in office cosmetic treatment procedures over the last three decades. Uh, it was well known and a well utilized uh, agent that has been used in the reconstructive field for years to help patients with strong muscle groups that need to be balanced and essentially uh, it's got an enormous safety profile so when it was identified that it when used around the eyes to stop spasm in the eyelid, eye muscles to soften the area uh, and to basically reverse some of the wrinkling effects it quickly transitioned into the cosmetic realm uh, it's so safe that it's been used by family physicians, by dentists, by medical spas, um, and again is well received by almost all patients. One of the big benefits of this treatment is that it's completely reversible, so it only lasts for a finite period of time. Uh, and that of course adds to uh, its wide acceptance because if you get a result that you don't really like, it's kind of gone in a period of anywhere between three to six months depending how long you've been using the product. So essentially Botox is used to inject into the forehead to soften the wrinkles. It effectively paralyzes the underlying muscle and by paralyzing the muscle, the muscle can't contract. You don't get that accordion effect like an accordion and you don't get those wrinkles that happen uh, perpendicular to the contraction lines of the muscle. It's used between the eyebrows to uh, soften some of the furrows and around the lines that we call crow's feet around the corners of the eyes to soften them as well. We also use it to balance strong muscle groups in small facial muscle areas that can cause some areas of asymmetry and even use it occasionally to uh, inject into the banding that happens in the neck as we start to age to soften or basically relax the leading edge of the platysmal muscle to soft neck and soften neck bands. So typically when you get this injection done you can sometimes get a little bruising around the area but generally speaking it's very 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 well tolerated. Patients are typically getting a procedure and back to work within about an hour uh, and are ready to roll. What we do notice essentially though is that the uh, effect of the treatment sort of peaks over the course of the first week to two weeks um, and it ca very occasionally needs minor touch-ups uh, just to optimize the dose when you're treating a new patient. And the duration of the, uh, the effect is often anywhere between about three to six months to start. We do notice that patients have, have had the treatment for a number of years uh, seem to get a little bit more longevity. So sometimes a patient that's coming in to get their frown lines treated will often get some corrections uh, that tend to be maintained for sometimes up to nine to 12 months. It's very patient dependent though. Some patients need to have that treatment repeated more frequently. Uh, so Botox or a neuromuscular blockade with other agents like it, like Dysport, can be done in office by most practitioners and tend to be a very, very effective and a very cost-effective way uh, of addressing some fine line wrinkles.